The hamstring and the sciatic nerve relationship. The hamstring muscles arise from the ischium and their function is to provide hip extension and knee flexion. There are three hamstring muscles, the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. The long head of the biceps and the semitendinosus have a common origin or a conjoined tendon that arises from this area of the ischium. While the semimembranosus have a separate origin and it arises from this area of the ischium. This is the medial part of the ischium and this is the lateral part of the ischium. The largest nerve of the body, called the sciatic nerve, enters the pelvis through the greater sciatic notch and passes underneath the piriformis muscle. The sciatic nerve is close to the hamstring muscles. The sciatic nerve is about 1.2 cm lateral to the hamstring muscles. That nerve got two divisions, a tibial division, which is the medial part, and common perineal division, which is the lateral part. The sciatic nerve is lateral to the hamstring muscles, so the sciatic nerve gives branches from its medial side, the tibial part, to the hamstring muscles. This is the side that's close to the muscles. In the upper part of the thigh, the sciatic nerve is covered by the long head of the biceps femoris muscle. The nerve is deep to the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris muscle is destined to go to the lateral side of the knee so it can help in the flexion action of the knee. So the biceps femoris muscle cross obliquely to gain access to the fibula where it inserts and at the sciatic nerve descends in the thigh close to the midline. It is crossed obliquely by the long head of the biceps femoris. This crossing of the long head of the biceps femoris over the sciatic nerve look like an X. Now the long head of the biceps femoris is upset because it's alone, so a short head of the biceps is added to help. The short head of the biceps does not arise from the ischial tuberosity. It arises from the femoral shaft from the middle of the linea aspera lateral to the subracandular ridge of the femur. The short head of the biceps joins with the long head of the biceps femoris in the distal thigh and it inserts into the fibular head. It is the most posterior structure inserted into the fibular head. The concern about the innervation, because this muscle is on the other side of the sciatic nerve. So where we get the innervation from? From the common perineal nerve not from the tibia nerve. The tibia nerve can reach there. The biceps femoris has to cover and protect the common perineal nerve. So the common perineal nerve is deep to these muscles and it is protected. So the two heads of the biceps femoris will balance the medial hamstring, the semimembranosus and semitendinosus which are inserted into the medial tibia, which are also knee flexors. These muscles think that the lateral side may be more powerful than them, so they get some help from the gracilis and the sartorius muscles. The sartorius function is flexion of the knee and the hip like a tailor. And the gracilis function is adduction of the hip and also knee flexion. 
everybody is out of the way of the popliteal fascia, so it is empty except it has neurovascular structures. There is no muscle there in the middle of the popliteal fascia, so we can fully bend it the knee without any impediment. That popliteal fascia is carefully designed. At a certain point, the biceps femoris muscle protested because now there are two muscles on the lateral side against four. So the plantaris is created and the plantaris will plantar flex the foot and also flexes the knee. The plantaris muscle is lateral and it is supplied by the tibial nerve. So why is that short head of the biceps important? Because a high static nerve lesion can mimic a common perineal nerve injury at the fibular head. Both will have foot drop. But the EMG will show where the lesion is located. So if the EMG shows abnormalities in the short head of the biceps femoris, then the lesion is high near the hip area. The lesion is not from an injury to the common perineal nerve at the fibular head. The lesion is from an injury to the sciatic nerve. If the EMG of the short head of the biceps is normal, then the muscle is not affected, then the lesion is low. The lesion occurs at the fibular head. So this short head of the biceps is important. Eventually, the common perineal nerve is protected. If you lose it, the patient will have a foot drop. And at the end, all three nerves contributed to flexion of the knee. Femoral nerve to the sartorius, obturator nerve to the gracilis, and the sciatic nerve to the hamstring muscles. The sartorius, gracilis, and semitin the noses, their combination is called the pes and serine tendons, which resembles a goose foot. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.